Hi, right, what's up guys? I'm coming at you with another commentary on a solo GM. This is going to be for the disgrace. All of you seem to enjoy the previous one I did. I know I'm going to get this one out a little bit quicker than the last time. So I'm just going to kind of go through, talk about everything that I've done. Maybe this can help you out if you're trying to go for a solo clear or if you're trying to go for a three person clear. I mean, watching one person do it or make three people a lot easier as well. So I hope you all enjoy. As you see, I'm just driving my Sparrow absolutely atrociously up here or skimmer, excuse me. But I like to go up here on this little left side and play up here. I go for a little kill right here to get devour. Sometimes devour if you don't get devoured proc here, you're pretty much cooked. But if you get devoured proc, you're chilling. So make sure you try to get devoured proc. So I'm just going to kill things. Indebted kindness with, a, you know, vault shot is just gross. You can pretty much kill everything. I'm playing my stasis turret warlock build again. Uh, it is just absolutely disgusting the amount of turrets you can have up. Low key, I do use transcendence a lot. I, normally with this build you don't really care about using transcendence but transcendence actually comes in clutch a lot right here but as you see i do almost die I go for a phoenix of i save my phoenix doves just for moments like that when i'm about to just die i could just go to the ground but right here i mean as you see it's just super super heavy ad clear i actually like really like the strike it's probably one of my favorites just for the amount of ad density there is i mean especially on a solo gm like it is it is just unbelievable the amount of fun you could have in this room but we pop transcendence uh, i'm kind of just not killing the the champions right now because they can be kind of a pain with all the other ads in the room uh, so i'm kind of just killing the stuff that aren't getting immune to the servitors uh but as you see one does teleport up here and i'm like oh this is perfect i can kill this one he kind of you know put himself in a pretty rough spot so i'll just go and get this one down and there's gonna be one more i have to kill and then there'll be a third one towards the end of this room but we kill that servitor. We're going to pop another turret. I think I'm going to... Yeah, I'm going to definitely Phoenix off here because I'm about to die. We're going to run around. And I think I go uh, kill the other adds over on this side. And yeah, that's exactly what I do. And uh, again, we're just trying to clear the room. So we're just taking it slow. Just make sure we kill everything. You don't really have to kill everything here. I'm almost certain. But it's just nice to kill stuff so you don't instantly die to one of those snipers or something like that. Arc resist is going to be your friend in this nightfall. It, it Pretty much everything does arc damage. So having triple arc resist is what I ran. And that's what I would recommend you all run as well. But right here, I pop transcendence. Uh, as you see, the second server has came out. There are a ton of adds. I actually think I almost go down in this part. Um, but we... Uh, I mean, obviously we succeed. I posted this video, but the run took me around, uh, I'd say six or seven tries. It was a little harder than the previous GM, uh, the Prison of Elders, or wait, Prison of Elders, what, what, whatever the actual name of that strike is, but you, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, this was a little bit harder just because there's a lot more ads and you can get insta-killed by a lot of things as well, but as you see, I, I'm kind of struggling right here, but I, I think you saw it before to live. I now I'm popping some more turrets or defense. And again, we're just, we're just trying to take things slow, healing up. I really, really need to kill one of these servitors. That's what I'm trying to do here. I have a Nova. I can insta-kill one, try to do some damage to the other one. And there we go. One server down. Now we're on to the next one. Oh, Warden of Nothing. I just remember the name of it. <laughs> that was eating me a lot i could not think of the name i always just call it the prison of elders one but warden of nothing is what i was previously talking about but there we go enough of that we kill those servitors i ignore the other ads in the room because again you don't really have to kill them i was just killing the servitors for platinum rewards uh because i did not do that in the last one so i wanted to try to do it in this one but we're in the next room there's gonna be two more servitors two barrier servitors we're gonna go and take this one out low-key like barriers i feel like are the easiest champions but when you have a barrier servitor and it makes the other stuff immune they are some of the most annoying champions in the game but and you see unravel outbreak i mean it's just going everywhere it is super super strong we're popping another turret here i pop transcendent so i can throw another grenade down so i can slow everything you know freeze some stuff and uh, yeah, I mean, it just makes uh, these actor scenarios super easy. I mean, like this is a grandmaster. I mean, like doing these things back in the day, like I feel like you would be terrified to even do some of the stuff I do in this video. But it's like now, just with how strong we are, like it is just. I mean, I mean, as you can see, like it is just disgusting. Like I'm confidently like out here in the open solo, like not even hiding. 
But we're going to use Indeticonus here to take out some of these wizards. And Indeticonus is also going to be our unstoppable. And then Outbreak's going to be our anti barrier. I, I like running Outbreak a lot uh, just because it's just stupid good for single target damage. And with rewind rounds, you never have to reload the thing. Like, it just... It, 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 I feel like it low-key does special uh, near heavy weapons level amount of damage if you have enough uh, nanites on them. So it's just great to have if you run out of heavy ammo. It, I use the pulse rifle more as a heavy in this gameplay than I do the actual heavy ammo. But I take I take the championship out there. I'm a little sad because I couldn't, like I guess, secure the kill up there because some more adds came up. But we're just kind of waiting. I'm going to kind of just keep, I guess, taking the shield off and on again. I think I get to a point where I just don't even worry about it because I need to kill these adds. So, yeah, right there. He's definitely healed to full. But we're just slowly working on the adds. The turrets here are a godsend for all the enemies that are walking up the path right here. I mean, it's just going to slow and freeze everything. trying my best to hit my indebted kind of shots but here i'm like okay i'm going to use my heavy try to take this guy out now that i have a little room clear but as you see there are two acolytes right there thankfully the turret and the arcs will shoot them and one's frozen they're also super duper weak i was going for a reload but i was like no i need to actually come out take a shield out and then you know we have a champion here dead these champions are honestly so annoying i these these two at this part is just stupid but uh pretty much it, every single other one's fine the server just gonna be a little annoying with their immune, but not really the champion itself. Just their ability. But I mean, as you said, I mean, just shredding through these ads. Now these shriekers are definitely a top priority. When these spawn, bro, these things need to die. They will straight up insta kill you. So that's why I was using heavy on the first one. For some reason on this one, like the hit detection is so weird if you're using like a linear fusion, but it's fine though. I, I kill it with the indebted kindness. Now I'm gonna be working on this other barrier knight. We're gonna pop another turret down to try to kill some of the ads in the middle. No, just don't even watch this part right here because I take <laughs> I take his shield down. Almost out, so I think have to throw the Nova Bomb. Watch the Nova. It goes right to the Acolytes. It literally doesn't... I don't know. If it, if it did any damage, it did very little to that night. So I pretty much just wasted a Nova there, unfortunately. But it's whatever. It, it procked my devour. So now we have both the Barrier Knights said I see the Heavy. I'm gonna pick it up. Again, pop it another turret. Just kind of playing back a little bit. I do get a little weak there because um, enemies are getting some lucky shots on me. Dead at kindness. Just completely missed. But again, Phoenix out to the ground in any sticky situation. Everything's freezing up there. And man, I'm still trying to kill this one acolyte over here. We, we finally got it. We finally got it, Russ. <laughs> I could not shoot that thing to save my life. We're gonna pop transcendence, try to kill everything here. But again, like right now, we're just, we're just playing it super slow. This is gonna be like a 26 minute run. Uh, I could 100% do it faster than this. I, I could definitely clear some of these rooms a little bit quicker. But again, I just wanted to make sure I actually get the clear to begin with. We're also really going for like any speed run right now. Also, Loki, since uh, anti barrier submachine gun is in the game. Like, I feel like Risk Runner would also be, like, really good here because of all the arc damage. But I went with the old tried and true, my favorite exotic outbreak. And, uh, I mean, as you see, it's it's doing it quite justice. And with that knight, that should be this room completely done. I'm going to hop over the little wall right here. Because <laughs> we're not going to go through the main door. We, we don't do that. We're Destiny players. Try to slide through the cage before it even opens up. That joining eye last thing has been there for so long. But now we're going to come up. Next little room. Kill these servitors just so we can get platinum. The turret, as you see, is just freezing all the ads. Outbreak. Getting all the nanites on them. And, like, really, like, th th this whole build is just kind of sit back and throw turrets, like, and then just shoot with Outbreak. That's really, really all you have to do. Throw Unravel. Unravel is also very strong to add with this, but. Gonna kill these last two little ads. Well, actually, I killed that one over there. I just <laughs> said, yo, have this tangle real quick, actually. <laughs> Man, I was trying to hot. Okay, shoot the floor in the Deadaconis. The AoE did not kill it. But now we're gonna move on. And I mean, this is, this is a pretty downtown part. I'm just waiting to get to the next door to 
use a little ghost scan. So I guess it's a pretty good time, I guess, to just talk about some other things. Um, if y'all didn't know, I actually do have a Discord. We recently have upgraded it a lot. So if y'all would like to join that, I would highly appreciate it. So we can all you know join, hang out, talk together. I do have a little mini LFG system in there as well, where you can just kind of select roles that you would like, you know, and we can people can ping those certain roles. And you know, you might get a notification if somebody wants to do a raid or something. All these people will obviously be from the community. So all that will be linked down below if you are interested in actually joining a Discord or joining my Discord. I'd really appreciate it. But that's enough with the self promo. Let's move on to the next room. And we're going to have Novota. And she will insta kill you. And there are also a lot of ads spawn here. And th this room right here is specifically why I'm saying I could get a faster clear because I typically these knights up here you could just like kill. You don't they don't really ever have to even run to the back of this room. You can also play a little closer. I'm playing it very passively right here, but these knights are gonna get way, way back here, as you'll see here in a second. I go for the kill on this knight. I'm throwing transcendence everything but unfortunately i just cannot get it uh we do go we break the shield and something happens where i think i almost die and i have to stop shooting it here in a second yeah the other barrier knight is like yo let me tank that for you actually let me almost kill you too so i couldn't get it and as you probably heard his shield also just popped up so yeah they're gonna heal the full now i gotta do with two now i got to deal with two barrier knights <laughs> back here at the back again this is unedited so you're gonna hear the real rest here not being able to edit the mistakes out of my voice but so we go for this one and pretty sure the same thing happens again this knight comes up and it's like yo actually let me uh let me just tank this for you so you can't kill that one so literally they're just out here helping each other they're playing dual destiny in the strike right now but we eventually kill this one we got the unravel. We got the, the Christmas lights going on with all the green and red. Just constantly killing. Luckily, we shoot him a little. He did heal a little bit, but I was like, I can't take it anymore. I'm throwing a Nova. I, I just, I'm killing this one. Get this one a little weak. And once you get that stun off on that one, it's, you're pretty good to go. Again, you could not play this passively. You could definitely play up if Navoda's not just like gunning you down with her arc. But th this is very unoptimal right here. But again, I just wanted to make sure we get the clear. And now we have Novota, and she could be an absolute pain. You have to do a little bit of damage to her to get her to run away. So that's what I'm going to be doing here. Also trying to kill the wizards in the back. Pop a transcendent so I can just throw unravel slow, you know, just doing damage with the void. Oh, and it also suppresses too, but I mean, I, I suppress doesn't really do too much. Actually, I lied. It does blind these enemies, which is nice because they are lower tier enemies. Because sometimes you'll see a random enemy... Uh, Sometimes you would just see a random enemy being blinded, and that is actually coming from your transcendence grenade, which is obviously very strong. But we're popping a turret here to try to just deal with some of the curse all that are coming up, maybe do some extra damage. Also, you get to amplify for damage reduction. And again, this is just my turret build that I have on the channel. If you guys would like to check it out, you can run pretty much literally any weapon you want with it. And there's no specific weapon requirements or anything but we have unstoppable here we're gonna kind of stun him slowly kill him nothing too crazy indebted kind is going for the stun we should kill him here on this one and yep there we go now we have volt shot i'm probably gonna try to get the jolt yep try to apply the jolt to the guy up top this is another barrier champion but if we're sitting back, we can slowly take it out. Unfortunately, he still can't shoot you, and the enemy is at the other. The enemies at the top of there can also shoot you. So it's it's a little, it can be a little hectic right here, even if you are taking it slow. But luckily, I get in a nice little spot where nothing's really hitting me. But you see, there was an explosion right there on the right that definitely could have damaged me. But we kill that knight, and then once that knight's dead, you're pretty much free to go. Uh, obviously, there are going to be a lot of other ads up top that you need to kill, but you don't really have to like stress about the room anymore. You're kind of just like freely killing stuff. I mean, like, indebted, indebted Connus with Vault Shot here is just so, so good. Like, this weapon is just... Like, well, it's not even just this weapon. It's just the sidearms, the special sidearms in general. They're just so good. And we're getting a solar one soon, because that got announced today. Well, I mean, we already knew we were getting the solar one, but we got to see it today. And, uh, yeah, it looks, it looks crazy. Yep, we're just slowly killing everything. All the damage numbers. There are going to be two more champions up here. I throw a turret, transcendence. It's just a common thing. Turret, slow, transcendence, grenade to slow freeze. Just so nothing can 
really do anything to you. Also, sorry if you heard me move the mic right there. <laughs> I had to readjust a little bit. But Outbreak just absolutely shredding all the nanites, all the unravel. And uh, I mean, yeah, we're we're, uh, we're gonna head over to the boss room here in a second. This boss room, it is kind of like War of Nothings. It it's honestly not that bad. I, this it's definitely harder than War of Nothings. Uh, but if again, you could play it slow, just get in certain little spots. And I don't know the best spots here. I'm being completely real with you. I uh, I kind of just went with what I thought would work well. Uh, as you see, I'm getting stuck on a staircase, so that's probably not a good sign for what I just said. But um, I tried to just kind of just play where she couldn't really shoot me or anything. And again, it's just it's just like a, a slow and steady wins the race type. E. Right here, bro, I'm gonna be honest. This first part where she keeps hiding, it is so annoying. I. I honestly think I prefer her other three stages. They might be easier just because she doesn't constantly try to hide 24-7. This part right here is going to be... It's going to take a little bit. But I'm trying to use power. I just completely missed that shot. I mean, she was moving. But still, I d really didn't even adjust for it. We have the jolt. We have the unravel. As you see, Thrall, Thrall will try to come up and try to kill you. But, I mean, you can just listen out for them. And just gun them down with indebted kindness. And you're good to go. But right here, I mean, she just hides 24 7 it is so annoying let I me mean, look at her just dipping around everywhere hiding behind all these pillars it's like she's like playing gears of war or something but i have the idea like let me run down here and get real close to try to do some damage and i'm like oh maybe that's not a good idea because she's starting to shoot me and uh i can't even find her because now she's like hiding under the, the little like balcony thing right there Trying to use power, now she has a shield back. She keeps just AD strafing. Like, I'm telling you, bro, this, this might be the worst part of this whole entire strike. Not even because, like, it's hard. It's just because it's so annoying. I'm sitting here. I'm trying to use my power. Yep. Now we're moving on to Indeticonus Outbreak. And we're, we're eventually going to get it here, I promise. If you've... Uh, if you've sped this up or fast forward it i totally get it but if you're still here i hope you're doing well <laughs> i really do because man this is taking so long <sighs> but yeah we're uh we're definitely uh we're definitely working towards it so more through all the spawn i uh i killed him i could have put jolt or on her right there but for some reason i didn't reload it in time so the tango like that was even going to do anything. But those thrall spawning are going to be like way more hectic towards the last parts of her phases. Because you're going to get a bunch of thrall, a bunch of curse thrall. So you really need to like, I guess, practice looking out for them. Because they're going to be more of a problem here in a second. Some weird animation right there. Just kind of gun not coming down. But we eventually, well not eventually, we finally get her to the next phase. So now we're gonna have to deal with these ads to spawn over here. So I pop a turret. I try to kill some of these on the left side because the turret is shooting towards the right. Fortunately, the ads will kind of overwhelm you. So I back up a little bit, swapped in dead at kindness, and uh, with the nanites to slow everything going around. I mean, as you see, like st stuff's just dying. Devour is so so good here. I mean, you just are pretty much unkillable with devour, and nothing really also being able to shoot you because the slow. But I do almost die here, you know, I'm saying that and eating my own words, but these knights can straight up destroy you. This is why I'm running. This is with triple arc resist on, by the way. And as you see, it, it, they can still destroy. But I picked up an orb to get an overshield there so I can go up and try to fight this guy. Also, procs radiant everything. I'm, I do see a knight down there that almost kills me. So I'm going to just chill up here for a second. Because, uh, as you see, that was very, very close. But, again, insta-killing me. But... We're going to go for the finisher, and now we're going to go on to phase two of Novota. Pop on a turret. I'm going to throw on a ravel up here. And a lot of this damage is just going to come from unravel and shatter damage from the turret. Also do throw a Nova to get a pretty hefty chunk down. Almost gets to the halfway, but we're going to have unravel and just, you know, shatter damage just going off while we're trying to focus on these ads coming up right here. This is what I was talking about. They're going to come up. You really, really, really need to focus on killing them because if you don't, they will overrun you and just insta kill you while you're trying to just, you know, I guess, D 
DPS the boss as fast as you can. A lot, a lot of things with these solo GMs is just slow and steady. You can't, you can't really rush things. But as you see, we almost got her down, and like this phase is going so much faster than the previous one, like exponentially faster. I'm trying to get some heavy shots on her. I got, I got an okay burst there. But I kill that thrall. I can reload. I can proc jolt. Okay, well. I ended up not reloading on that one for some reason. I actually know. I know I didn't reload on that one because fast at a command actually froze her and reloaded the gun itself. So that's why I didn't get to put jolt on her. Fast at command is honestly very strong. Actually, I'll get back to that in a second. Uh, we have champion spawn in here. A bunch of other assets. I did get her to the uh, third phase now. So I pop transcendence. We're just kind of playing back in this little area right here because there are a ton of ads spawning. I do not want that unstoppable to rush me. So now we're going to stun it now that I killed everything else. Then we're going to insta-kill it. But yeah, uh, fast as a command is stupid good with Outbreak with rewind rounds. But it kind of can not screw you over with trying to proc Jolt like we just did a second ago. But overall, I still think it's it's super, super good. Plus, all those shards you see are coming from fast as the command, which refill my melee. And obviously, Unravel is also very good. So you want your melee up a lot. But we kill that champion. Two ogres are going to spawn out here. One's going to be a champion. One's not don't be fooled that not the one that's not a champion will absolutely melt you so you really really want to be careful there but we're going to go in and stun it I, I would just kill the normal one here but i don't really have an angle on it and i can't really move from this spot because you'll just get destroyed if i go out in the open so right here i do see that it is walking towards the right so i'm like okay i'll, I'll kill it real quick and then i can apply jolt with the volt shot i'm gonna wait for another stun here and then with this stun i'm just like okay this, this is ggs i'm gonna kill it here I, uh, and you're going to be good to go. I might have to get another stun off, but as you see, it's literally one shot. I would just run down to go for a finisher, but I really don't want to have to because then Novoto is going to spawn up top and then she's going to get in position before I can even get in position. So right now I'm ready to go. She's going to be coming back now. We're going to have that, uh, shatter damage coming up. I, I don't, I, I just completely whipped that grenade and the arcane needle right there, but we eventually get it i'm looking for a nova here just i'm pretty sure yeah, yeah right there so i can just get the damage off so i can build another one up while i'm doing damage now but going for some power missed li literally every headshot right there but i do hear thrall coming behind me so i'm like let me turn around and actually kill these guys cursed all spawn now too so you definitely want to kill those so they just don't insta kill you but i mean i, I mean I, like indebted kind of is just so so good I was going to pop a turret there. I'm like, well, actually, wait, I need to actually jump up. I keep jumping up a little bit, then popping it so the stasis turret actually goes to Novota, so it's doing damage to her. Because I don't really need it for the ad clear part, because, like, the Thrall move, well, the Curse Thrall moves super slow, and the other Thrall you can hear extremely loud. So you you know when stuff's coming, so I don't really need the turret for protection, plus the Arc Soul also can just shoot like that. So I'm using this again just for mainly the shatter damage. And as you see, just, I mean, casually not even really doing a lot to her, I have her below half. Like it's, it's actually kind of disgusting. I'm just playing under this bridge. The only thing I'm really getting damaged by is her smoke. Again, throwing all my abilities. Shooting out break. I'm going to throw another nade here in a second. And I uh, just completely missed that one. We're going to throw it all the way to the other side of the room. But we've almost got her down to the last stage. I can apply Jolt here now. Since I got that reload. Just having Jolt and Ravel slow everything, I mean, it just slowly ticks away at the balls. The Shatter, like, a Nanites from Outbreak. At this part, there are going to be a ton of ads to try to rush you. It is very beneficial to try to kill them. As you see, there's a Cursed All just straight running at me. There are also going to be a ton of ads down here below as well. Uh, this is just, like, the first little part. There will be more. But I'm like, all right, let me try to do some damage to Navota. And uh, I started to take a little damage. Let me back up. I like sitting up here, just kind of sniping her, a Doom Petitioner. You could probably run any other uh, heavy you want. If you want to run a machine gun, that's fine. Even a grenade launcher would probably be okay. And solar is on, so if Cataclysmic is your thing, you know, run that. I was just running Doom Petitioner. I guess literally, it's just what I had on my character, if I'm being completely honest with you. But as you see, there are a ton of ads. There's a whole army of ads coming. So definitely try to focus these. They are going to spawn on the left too, so always be sure to watch out for that. We're going to kill him down here in the middle. Everything's just screwed up. And it's just so, so good just hearing all those explosions right there. But I do have nanites out in the field now. They're not really doing much, but they're there. If enemies walk up. The stasis turret coming to clutch, slowing. 
Then he's behind me. I'm pretty sure I saw the Stasis turret shooting. I throw a Nova just to uh, kill a bunch of the ads, do some damage. But I, I, I'm pretty sure I saw that Stasis turret shooting backwards. So that's why I looked uh, over there and I saw the Curse Thrall coming. But now we have a good, good amount of time just to do damage to the boss. And uh, I mean, as you see, we're not really chunking her, but we're doing decent damage for, you know, a solo GM. I'm out of indebted, indebted kindness ammo here, which sucks. But as you see, I got a heavy and two special bricks back to full because I do have left from gold. Just it, disgusting. Just, oh, out of ammo, back to full. Like, like literally right there killing one ad. But again, just slowly killing ads. Just waiting for an opening so I can actually do damage to the boss. I'm going to apparently use my heavy to try to kill this knight, but, you know, <laughs> I, I, um, I'm almost out of heavy now. I literally have one shot left, but now I'm like, oh, I, I, I realize I'm out of heavy because I definitely was not looking at the counter at all. But throw one ravel. As you see, I do have the stasis turret also shooting. Nanite's doing damage. Probably will pop transcendence here to do that extra 5%. I can also just you know, throw another nade, do some more unravel. I don't really need to unravel again because it's already on her. But as you see, we're going to kill her here. I could throw the Nova just to end it, but I kill her without break. And that is the solo GM for Disgrace. I guess, honestly, not too bad. It's definitely harder than Warden of Nothing if you did do that one, uh, you know, the previous week. But it is it is definitely doable. And uh, it is low-key a ton of fun with all the ads that are just, uh, you know, in those, honestly, all the rooms. So the first room has a lot as well. Like super super fun i highly recommend giving it a try and even if you don't like i said i hope this can also help you out if you're running it with a three-man team you know, just learn some different places you can say it's different strategies the weapon this week is the zume and it can get some pretty good rolls i don't know if it's going to be a week you want to farm unless you just need resources you can absolutely fly through this strike if you are uh you know in the right circumstances it, it's a super short strike uh and yeah i mean it, it's a ton of fun anyways though that's going to do it all for me i really hope you all enjoyed and learned something from this and again if you do want to join our discord i will have everything linked down below i would love to see you all there and if you're ever looking for anyone to play with in the community just know we do have our lfg system oh and if you would like to see me do videos like these on a different character or a different build definitely just be sure to drop what you would like to see in the comments below thank you all so much for watching and i hope you all have a great day peace